Hello, Cancers. So the last reading I did, I was getting that there's a karmic ex that's been telepathically blocking um, new and true love from coming in. But it seems like true love is, is going to win in the end. Um, but it's just some kind of, you know, possessive, controlling, toxic, jealous, narcissistic type of person. Some kind of ex that just, um, you know, wants, they're jealous. They want you to themselves. They're... Or it could also be revenge. They might just not want to see you happy in general or either that or they just, they miss you. They want you back. But, um, but yeah, I think you're learning how to shield and ground and, um, cut them out. You know, doing a cut and clear ritual would be good for you if you're in this energy group. So, um, yeah, but I think true love is winning. So don't worry about it. But let's see what the cards have to say. Soulmate, past life, soul contract, hidden truth. There might be a truth coming out that there could be a soul contract here. You might be having some psychic epiphanies regarding this connection. It could be that... It could be that something, there's like a soul contract or a past life connection here. Someone's having these epiphanies now. So you might need to end these soul contracts. Not all soul contracts can be ended, but some of them can. It might also be telling you to like end the the cords, like the the you know the red cords that connect us all astrally to our soulmates. They might be blocking you from you know you know what I mean. Like they can they can they can pick up on your energy, and you can pick up on their energy through those cords. So when you end a relationship, you usually need to cut those cords out. So there's some kind of hidden truth and clarity that's coming out here. And either this person is, is realizing this truth and so they're wanting to come forward with a love offer because they're aware of the past life connection. Or this could also be just you becoming aware of this truth. You, you know, wondering like why is this love offer coming in? Like what's going on here? And you're you're recognizing that this is a soul contract, that this is, there's, a, there's car, maybe like a karmic connection or something. You're, you're realizing why this keeps coming back around, you know, so there's some kind of hidden truth that keeps coming out or that's about to come out for you. That'll give you clarity to move forward and finally cut this connection out. Anything else we need to know about the karmic ex? For others, I think it's also saying that the new person might be realizing that this is a past life soulmate connection. And since they're realizing it, they're wanting to make you a love offer. A couple different stories here. Waiting, hoping, praying, isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Yeah, it's like they're isolated. They're alone. They're, they're waiting and hoping and praying for a communication with you, for a connection. But you're leveling up. I don't think you're going to want them. You, are the, you either don't want them anymore now or you're like to that point where you're not going to want them in the near future. Risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. I feel like that's them wanting to weasel their way back in. Some of them are trying to use magic too. Magic intention, power manifestation. To keep you stagnant, to keep you from moving on, to keep you from being with this other new person. You know, they're trying to pull you in and be doing like love drawing rituals and that kind of stuff to try to get you back. Trying to come through in your dreams telepathically. So, yeah, trying to get you to make a move, trying to get something to happen here. So, I mean, it's similar energy to what we got before. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull cards on the new person too. But it's similar energy to, to the reading we did before. I just, I feel like you're more in your power now though. Like you're more aware of this and you're really just making that decision that you're done. Like I feel like you're more done with this person than you were before. You, you know, this was a karmic ex. Like you're, you're, you're going to have, you've either had or you're going to in the near future have these epiphanies that are going to help you figure out how to cut this person out. So you know, the last thing I did, I was kind of just letting you know that this is happening. Like this is, you know, you're wondering where your true love is and you have this karmic ex that's, that's trying to draw you back in and not letting anyone else have you. This could also be like just a karmic, um, pattern that you're repeating that you need to cut out. But 
you know, I feel like there is an update to this situation, to this energy, because you've come further along. And I really feel like, like, yeah, you're about to have some epiphanies that are going to let you know, like, what needs to be done. Like, you're going to have maybe like in your dreams or something, you might have some clarity and you're just going to realize like, oh, okay, I need to, I need to do a cord cutting ritual. I need to shield myself. I need to, you're going to understand like how they're getting in. You're going to understand the energy that's taking place here more and more. You know, like your spirit guides are kind of opening you up and showing you what needs to be done. Like, cause you're not ignoring it now. You're not just like, oh, I hate this person. Bye. I just, I just want to be done with this. Um, or, you know, the opposite, like, uh, like holding on to them, but you know, it's toxic. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're finally like, okay, like your, your, your spirit guides have been trying to get your attention. And I think you're finally like being honest with yourself and honest with your spirit guides. And you're like, okay, I accept, I realize this, this connection was toxic. I realize this is a karmic connection. I realize that I can't just sweep it under the rug for good, for better or worse. Like I can't just sweep it under the rug. I got to pay attention to this. I got to figure out how to cut this out. I got to release this. I can't just pretend like it doesn't exist. And again, for some of you, it's like, you know, for in good or bad ways, some of you like still care about this person. Some of you don't, but whatever it is, it needs to be addressed. And I feel like you're finally addressing it. You're taking your power back. You're taking control of your life. And so you're able to free yourself from this energy. So you've either just been given or you're about to be given the steps to do this. So you might be led to do cord cutting rituals on this ex. Um, you might be getting into like um, sh like grounding, shielding, protective techniques, maybe like talismans, um, like stones, crystals and things to like, um, you know, shield your energy from them. You're just going to have these like psychic epiphanies is what I'm feeling that are going to let you know what this person is doing. Like you might have a dream that this person is getting in through like your mother or something like that. And you're going to be like, okay, mom, like you got to please stop talking to my ex. Like it's, it's creating a connection between us. Stop, stop doing it. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like you might just have those dreams that kind of, um, you want, you want to be mindful of your dreams right now. I would say keep a dream journal and just really be aware of the energy so yeah, it's a really good thing because it's like you're you're finally acknowledging it and so your guides are your guides have been trying to talk to you, trying to show you what's going on, trying to your intuition has been screaming at you to not just bury this under the rug. And now you're finally like listening like okay, I know I have to deal with this as painful and frustrating and annoying as it is. I know I have to deal with this if I want my true love to be able to come in. So you're dealing with it now, it seems like. So that's really it's a beautiful thing. But yeah, like I said, do the cut and cord Oh my gosh. Do the cut and clear ritual, cutting the cords, cutting because we all have red cords astrally that tele that you know telepathically connect us to um, people we've loved, like soulmates and whatnot. So, like they can, like a psychic vampire type can pick up on your energy through those cords, and vice versa, you can pick up on their energy too. So, if you're really done with someone, you need to cut the cords so that they can't keep picking up and tapping into your energy anymore. And for a cord cutting ritual, you also have to like not talk to them after you do the ritual because otherwise the cords will reattach themselves. And I, I did a cord cut, cutting ritual live a little, like maybe like a month ago. So just scroll back down and find that and you can do it along with me through that video. But, um, but yeah, also grounding, shielding, you know, I feel like you're getting to the root of the problem. Like maybe there's, maybe there's also like psychological and like emotional reasons, you know, as opposed to just psychic reasons, maybe there's also emotional reasons why this, keeps repeating like maybe um like maybe you have to you have to dig deep and face some really dark and and heavy truths you know maybe this was the first person you ever truly loved or something of that sort and you have to kind of face that reality and you have to you know feel and acknowledge those emotions instead of just suppressing them and burying them you got to you know release them to come up and be like okay you know I I did feel that at one point and like embrace that but like you know you're moving on now you're moving on you're you're clearing it but you can't pretend like it's just not there anymore you know what i mean um so yeah it's really beautiful that you're be that you're you know being shown the way to to finally clear this energy out because you're finally willing to i think that's the thing is i don't think you are willing to clear it out before i think you were either you were either still holding on to the person you were still holding on to hope that they would change and they would get better and come back to you or it was just so painful and so like, you know, dark or so traumatic or so um, upsetting or whatever else that you just kind of wanted, wanted to pretend like it didn't happen. You're just like, okay, that's the past. I'm good. Like you didn't want to 
deal with this person's energy. Um, but now you're finally like, okay, this, like you're listening to your spirit guides. Now you're like, okay, this has to be acknowledged, like time to like time to really dig deep and, and clear this out and do the cord cutting and, um, you know, shielding and grounding using stones, crystals, baths, rituals, whatever you need to do and freeing your energy and, and genuinely moving on from this as opposed to just pretending like you're moving on from it. Let's look into the true love though. And if this is your story and you want a private reading, just email me. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are also appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. New love. What's up with the new love? Adventure, honeymoon, vacation, dreams, visions, telepathy. Okay. Pride and stubbornness. Risk for war and bold gesture. Okay. I feel like this person's daydreaming about you a lot. There might be a sense of like... Well, some of you haven't met this person yet, but you feel like you're about to meet them. And they're going to want to like... Maybe like you're going to meet through traveling. Like they want like the adventure with you. Honeymoon, vacation. Like you guys might be having dreams about each other, telepathically communicating. And you're going to notice the difference because... The energetic difference because they're... They're not going to be prideful and stubborn like they're, like your exes have been. Or like if they are, like if there is miscommunication, they're going to want to clear it up. Like they're going to choose love. You know, we had this over that card is risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. So they're not just going to let you go. They're not just going to let their pride get the best of them. Even if they are prideful or upset at points, they're still going to choose love over their pride. So yeah, you guys are either telepathically connecting in the 5D or if you have met then they're just kind of daydreaming about you, kind of wanting to, um, you know, connect, travel. Some of them are spying on you right now, either telepathically. Some of them, are, some of them, you guys are like telepathically aware of each other. Like, you know, you're about to meet someone. Nostalgia, longing. Yeah, like they're like longing for you, but like, like they don't know who, like they can't put a face to it. You know, some of them are like longing for you, but they haven't met you yet in the physical. And then others, they have met you, but they're just kind of spying on social media. You guys might meet at like a club or a party or like some kind of social event too. You guys go into a masquerade. You might meet a masquerade if, if you guys are going to some kind of big party like that. Um... I also see it as a sign they're going to be financially stable, successful, listening, understanding, new perspective. So it's really good that you're having these epiphanies. It's good that you're finally willing to do this work to clear the X out because you're, and it happens the more you channel this new person because you're like, oh, wait, this is what I want instead. You know, even if you haven't met them yet, some of you have met them, some of you haven't, but whatever the situation is, it's like, you know, you can feel this energy. You know that this new love is what you want. This is a potential life partner, true love. Loyalty, stability, vows. Yeah, someone who's loyal, who's honorable, who's stable, who's um, could be like a knight in shining armor type, male or female. Someone who's strong, passionate. Truth and clarity. Honest. There's a lot of honesty. We've got loyalty. we got truth. Yeah. Cold, guarded, distrusting. They might not trust people easily. Um... Due to a karmic situation where they were betrayed. So they might be a little hesitant to trust. But once they do trust, it's it's going to be worth it. Once they get out of that energy and they do trust you, it's once they, yeah. You guys are going to be ending patterns together, I think. I think this could be a twin flame connection too. I think as you end your patterns and you experience this breakthrough and this freedom from your ex, your person's also going to be doing the same thing and ending their patterns and cycles and break and having this breakthrough and freedom from their ex as well, or from their patterns, whatever it might be. Um, could just be like a, you know, multiple exes, like, you know, a long line of, of a toxic pattern kind of energy there. But I feel like you guys are mirroring each other in that way where you're both going to be having these like endings, um, coming in. And this is actually your true love. 
I feel like maybe for some of you, you thought the other person was your true love and it just, it traumatizes you that it didn't end up working out, but you need to kind of face that trauma now and just, it needs to be released. It needs to be healed from, it needs to be cut and cleared, not just buried under the rug, you know? Yeah. This person might be dominant too, but like in a sexy way, like, a this could, this could be like, um, like in bed too. They could be dominant in bed. I see the wine glass too. So I keep wondering like if you guys drink, if you're going to meet at like a party or something for some of you. It's almost like New Orleans kind of energy there. Magic intention, manifestation power. Yeah, it's like they're gonna you guys have been manifesting each other. I feel like this is a strong psychic connection. So I feel like they I feel like a lot of them are already aware of you. If they, if they haven't met you yet, I think, I think they know that they're about to meet you. Willpower, strength, confidence. Pause, reflection, rest, beauty, mist yeah. They're gonna be taken back by your beauty, your enchantment. So so um clear these patterns out so this new love can come in. You know, like you know what to do now. So just go ahead and do it, and then we'll see what the cards say in a couple weeks. Please subscribe if it resonates. And like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is below and any donations are appreciated. Thank you.